Hi there, Evan here with Crypto and Markets for Wednesday, April 24th, 2019. I'm going through the Bank of Canada statement this morning. I'm going through the growth projections they have for the next couple of years. I'm going through the analysis of all the economists out there and whatnot. I don't get it. I see the numbers here. What's it going to take for people to understand the housing market was the Canadian economy? That was the wealth effect that was being used to drive our consumer. I've done many videos on this in the past 18 months. I read the projections. I read the analysis. I'm still not sure that more than a few people out there get it. I mean, I'm reading the numbers here. Let's go through the numbers. They downgraded for this year, the Bank of Canada. They downgraded consumption. They downgraded housing. And here's a big one also. They downgraded exports. Now, a side topic, but let's get into this. Everyone out there seems to think, oh, because the Canadian dollar is weak, it's going to make your exports more attractive. Again, I said this many times also. Where's your buyer? If the economy's slowing globally, who's going to buy your exports? Again, I read the analysis, I read everything out there, and no one seems to understand this for me. There. I'm a Greek talking with my hands. There you go. And then magically next year, everything picks up again. There's some segments within Canadian housing that are just starting to experience a correction now. In fact, home prices nationally, on a national scale, only started turning down late last year, early this year. Again, not just Toronto or Vancouver, but from a national scale. So how then is that wealth effect going to drive the economy going forward and for now just starting a downturn which as we know take five to seven years to go through now if you're a housing bear one good thing we got out of this it looks like the bank of canada doesn't want to be quite as dovish as i thought yet which means the rate cut that might have been coming this quarter Probably doesn't come until the fourth quarter at the earliest now. So if you're a housing bear, you can take solace in that. In that, rate cut comes later. And now it's going to take even long, longer to filter through the economy. And housing will remain, in a, will remain in a further downturn. So looking at everything I presented to you. And looking at all the indicators out there. How can anyone expect a turnaround? Even look at employment. Employment's starting to slow now. Wage growth has been going down since the beginning of last year. And for you to get an increased savings rate, look, for, for Can Canadians to get an increased savings rate, as part of the deleveraging process, I said this on Twitter today. A lot of people didn't like it. I'm going to say it here now. Insolvencies have to happen. Because debt service ratios in Canada are at an all-time high. Even though bond yields have come down, if we have lower quality debt, you're still seeing interest rates go up way past what wage growth has been really the past couple of years now. So in that scenario, if you don't have the wage growth to cover your debt, there has to be a massive deleverage there. There's no way around it.
I don't know. I'm reading all the experts out there. Honestly, I'm lost for words. They seem to think, boom. Read the numbers, guys. Read the indicators. Look around you. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. And for exports, if the global economy doesn't pick up, well, you can pump out whatever you want, but if there's no buyer in the back end, who cares? Oh, declining currency makes it attractive. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Um, you tell me. Put your comments down below. What do y'all think? Am I out to lunch? Is everyone else out there right besides me? Anyhow here. This is all I'm going to say. Look at this rosy picture they have out there now. I predict, and many others besides me also, predict this isn't going to happen. And the economy is going to keep slowing. We're going to head into the recession. We're going to have the insolvencies, the foreclosures, the powers of sale keep picking up as I talked about. What's, what's the only thing left to happen? Rate cuts. And a decline in the dollar. Which means... With wage growth not catching up. With the cost of our debt rising. To say we're in a world of trouble... It's, a, it's an understatement, frankly. I don't get it. I read these reports and seemingly people still think we're going to get out of this out of thin air. Well, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen that way. I mean, it's not just Canada. Look globally. Global real estate markets are having the exact same problems as Canada. Canada's Canada's real estate market is. You want to find a worse one? Look at the Aussies right now. There you go. <sighs> Stressful, man. It's tiring. <sighs> I don't know what else to say. I don't know. I know I said the same thing a million times to this video, but... What else can I say? People, as the economy has been slowing the last 18 months, still don't know it's slowing. People saying, oh, panic's hit, panic's hit, buy now. Look what's going on out there. Look at the consensus opinion. We're not even close to panic yet. Heck, we're still on the return to normal, normal phase. You know the chart Better Dwelling has out where it goes up, down, up, and down, or whatnot? Look, pull up that chart for yourself. Return to, no return to normal? That's where everyone still thinks we are. The way I see it, it's going to get real bad real quick. I mean, the more I talk about it, the more I keep bringing it up, the worse it gets. I don't know. Leave your comments down below. Smash that like button. Subscribe. Follow me on Twitter. Have a good day.